What is up everyone, it's DSP and welcome to another episode of Classic Chopped Tomatoes. Uh, but I think it's a pretty good meal and you can basically feed a family. Yeah, right. And that would be, um, goddamn salty tacos. Keep in mind, you can make tacos with uh, basic turkey, lettuce, or you can make tacos with chicken. No matter what you do, it's pretty much the same recipe. Um, uh, obviously this is way too much for me for one meal. Yeah, right. Roughly cook a pound. Woo! Um, what do you need to make tacos? Well, 40% less sodium. Now, your shells, there's a lot of variety of shells. You're going to find soft tacos. You're going to find hard tacos. You're going to find, um, you can put all your ingredients in them, and as you see, they actually stand up. They don't fall over and make a mess. So, you could, if you like, you could cut your own chopped tomatoes. Personally, myself, I make it easy. I'm the kind of guy who just go to the store and pick it up. And uh, in addition to that, obviously a lot of people like shredded lettuce in a pan or skillet. I said, well, I'm not going to put that, and I'll have to leave that out, unfortunately. So, whoops. You're going to take the meat, and you're going to start to brown the meat, which is super simple. You can either butter the pan, or, you know, like I said, I like pan, because it could have diseases. Woo! Um, yeah, you don't want to end up getting some nasty thing. So we're going to go ahead that in there. The goal is to get the beef into small pieces, okay? And the thing's died like four times already, so figure that one out. Alright. I just got some beef on my hand. Whoops! I'm immediately gonna wash my hands. Our goal is to take this wooden spoon and cut up this meat into small pieces, okay? Itty bitty pieces. Chop, 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 smashing it like an asshole you will damage the pan so as you can see it's clumpy and you can have a little left-handed action if you're if you're right-handed like me and your hand gets tired you can switch it up we need to basically make this meat brown and as it dries out we need to get all the excess juice which is pretty much the fat liquidizing the meat obviously is going to want to get out of the pan too but that's okay we're going to handle it very slowly brown Whoop, i'm sure and we've got our taco mix and what we're going to do just try to get this open without getting a, making a mess. It's being a pain in my ass. Wow, it won't even tear. Oh, and there it goes. I knew it. I knew it was stuck at the top. Of course, there's a nice amount of it on my floor now, which I'm not too happy about. Oh, whoops! This means it's time to move the meat again. And this, of course, is exactly what they do at Taco Bell when they make tacos. So you're going to want to move it around as much as you can. Maybe start moving and flipping it if you can to get the red at the bottom. Optionally, you can take a couple shots of tequila while you're doing this. All right, we're browning nicely here. <laughs> the cheese ready for sprinkling, which doesn't want to open. <laughs> and as I said, take a look, there's now juices in the pan, as I, as I predicted would happen. The fat melting. Mm. Some of the moistness leaving the meat. Good beef. As you can see, what's happening now is as I'm smashing it, it's actually becoming giant clumps in your taco. It's not acceptable. Chop, 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 chop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the sink and drain it as much as we can, which is gonna be tricky. Oh, a little bit of meat fell in there. Two thirds of a cup of water. Okay. It's okay that it's now wet, it's supposed to be. It's going to become a meat mixture with the sauce. It's going to be a little on the wet side, but that's okay. Distribute the sauce evenly. Woo! As you see, it is boiling, which is perfect. This is now going to allow this to soak into the meat, and it's going to become a tasty mixture. This is no longer just ground beef, okay? This is now our special Mexican dish. It's that simple. And we want to get it the consistency a little bit less wet than sloppy, making it basically a moist meat mixture. Bleh. Sorry, I just sprayed out my sink. I do want a little bit more of this juice. It's not even boiling anymore. It's taco, taco meat. Taco, taco, taco. We're going to scoot that over here to our tacos. And we're going to load up our tacos with the taco meat. Go ahead and grab some of that meat. It should be the first thing that goes in any taco shell is the taco meat. 
Mmm. We're gonna really load these guys up. We've got one doggo that refuses to stand. But as you see, they actually stand up. They don't fall over and make a mess. So, aha! It's a little lopsided taco there. We're gonna obviously add some other ingredients. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of salsa to each taco. I feel like a little bit of spice. But I don't like hot. I think hot is it's too much about the sodium. A little bit too much in that one, but oh well. Yeah, let's do some sour cream. What the hell? Here you go, some sour cream. Some people will overload it. Globs. Just sprinkle that right on top. As much as you'd like. Once you, you have each ingredient in there, stick a toothpick through it this way, and then maybe stick a toothpick through it the other way, make like an X of toothpicks. I mean that I live alone, you know, it's not gonna be like someone else is gonna run in here and start eating them, so. 